I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today I'm in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. If you want to see a great car show, look at the Chrysler Nationals event website and you can see that in the description of this video. And I met some fun people. I met LaDonna and her dad Ron. LaDonna, your last name? Linz. LaDonna Linz and you have, well, quite the fun thin car. What year make and model is this one? It is a 1958 DeSoto Fire Dome Sportsman. <laughs> That's a lot, but it is a lot when you see it too. Come right alongside me. What's the color on this car that the sun is beaming on? It looks like a great pumpkin. So this color is called Autumn Rust, and the, the top color and the middle color is Rose Beige. And the, when you say the top color, I'll just move to the side momentarily. And now this is both of your cars. Yes. Wow. As we keep moving back, I'll get to a position where we can stop and you can just take in that. That's cool. This gets a lot of attention for obvious reasons. The fins, the color, the fun. <laughs> How long have you had it, Ron? I bought it in 2010. It went to the body shop 2011. It came home fall 2012. Then it took seven years to get all the parts together and get it back assembled. And late 2018 in the fall, it hit its first miles. Got it. And LaDonna, this is your car as well. Who's gonna pop the hood for me? Oh, I'll let my dad do all that. All right, let's go there. Ron, we've got the sun on it. You can see where that, look at that. The car, first of all, was in great shape to begin with. And this is just like you're driving a brand new car. It really is, yes. Now, did you have that little bag up in front that you have for me too? The one that goes right here? Oh, yes, the water cooler. Yeah. I'll have you do that while I'm doing some of these features. There you go. Look at the sculpting in that mirror. So show me what this is for. That would be back in the day. Yeah. This tell would me. have been a water bag people had hit in the 50s. They'd have it filled up, and that's where they would hang it in front of the radiator. And it would help keep the radiator cool a little bit, and if they needed water, it was there. This so, is that, where do you find that? My uncle had that, and uh, he gave it to me, and I thought, you know, let's just put it on the car it shows. Right? What a great car. Now, is this a uh, oil bath filter No, here? it's a dry filter. It is a dry there filter. There, yes. Okay. And that rest of it is, is full of baffles everywhere inside. Got it. And there was a rat's nest in it. <laughs> okay. And it was all rusted out, so the guy, he took it all apart and rebuilt all the baffles. Wow. Let me get on this side. So the heads look almost like a Hemi head. Ah, uh, they're not. It, it's a What's the cubic inch? It's a 354 poly. Now that means... Poly? Poly. Tell me what that means. It's a... Uh, the way the valves and stuff go. Okay. And it's it's actually it's a hemi block. Yeah. Without the hemi heads. Huh. Yeah. And uh, the 354 was on the Canadian cars only. The so American, this is a Canadian car. This is a Canadian, Canadian car, and that's why it's gray under the hood, and in the trunk. Oh really? The American cars are body colored. Okay. And you see the gray yes, in the, the firewall? The American cars are also body colored, and the Canadian ones go up the gray there. So that's kind of the difference. So it's a Canadian car? Yes. Got and that's it. why is, it's. Is there three. anything that says Craco or something like that on here? Or no? uh, it's got all the Chrysler you know, logos yeah. everywhere. You know, them four logos. Sure. The old logos. That. Like, it's stamped. I'm going to do that so that people can see the stamping. Yeah, it's stamped everywhere, right? Okay. Got it. Okay, well let's um, I'll show that. Let's uh, let's fire it up, shall we, Ladonna? Okay, so yes. Done. No, we'll keep it. Okay. We'll keep it open okay. for that. Did not know that this was a Canadian car until you told me that. That was yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's the difference. Eh? Yeah, like because, right here on the side. Yeah, because like 
you know, some American people would say, hey, that's not right, you know. Yeah. So you kind of got to explain to them what was a Canadian thing and... Got it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. You should also tell people it's a push button. Push button transmission. When push I get to the interior, yeah. when I get to the interior, I will show them that. Did you work on this? Uh, I spent one winter all tore apart, painted every piece separate. And my friend said, put it together, then paint it. But there were so many places that you couldn't get the paint done. Yeah. And it would be all runs, you know? So I, I did it piece by piece, and all the masking and stuff on the head, just hours. But, you know, it Look at it. Yeah, I know. And it sounds it, great. It turned out great. Yeah, it turned out perfect. All right, I'm gonna stand back here. LaDonna, if you would please step on the brakes. There we go. There's our tail lights. We're gonna turn it around for you in a second. Is the exhaust out here or that's faux? That's just fake, correct? It, it, it could be. But it's, real, but but it's we, down here. Yeah, I, I got the, the guy gave me rusty old pieces, so the body van built me these. Yeah. And I just wanted them, because if it didn't have the exhaust, it's just a blank in there. Right. right? And I thought, well, he's got the blueprint to make them, so he made them. But we didn't hook them up because it was Mickey Duck. If it goes down and it's like an ice cream cone, yeah. a Dixie cup, so yeah. the other sauce would just set inside that Dixie cup with no gaskets or nothing. Got it. So it was easier to just go out the bottom. Yeah. Ask, and, her, ask her to give us a rev if she Okay, can you rev it up, Madonna? Put it to the floor just quick. <laughs> that a girl. <laughs> One more time. I can see you watch the channel. One more time. That was great. All right, we're going to turn it around. Okay, so sorry. I told you we'd turn it around. And as you can see, that big set of fun fins moving towards the outside of this car with the DeSoto wrapping around the center of that. And look at the detail in the fins you have the exhaust as he said kind of an ice cream cone where the exhaust could come up but it goes under the car let me just show you that from the side and maybe one of my favorite angles of this car is right there let's open the trunk shall we madonna thank you we can do that we've got the dual antennas as you can see there's that gray on the inside showing that it's a Canadian car, perfectly matched luggage. And it's just a brand new car. Just perfect. All right, we'll close that. May I open it? Yes. Thank you. Let me open that. You'll see how this handle works like so we're going to feature that door as we feature the door go ahead grab that look at the coloring in this door just like that the nice pull handle to open the door do me a favor show me how all the buttons work on uh, <laughs> on that go so ahead it is a push button yeah um and the, these cars were so ahead of their time so it's actually a neutral start. So you don't start the car with the key. No. You just turn the key on. Okay. And then you press the neutral button. Yes. To to fire the engine. Got it. Absolutely. This car has power seats, power windows. Um, just just incredible, right? And look at the fabric that you not only see in the door, but you see it here. And you can see the that it's window, got the... Rear, rear window, go ahead, you were going to say? Oh, you can see, like, if you look close at the um, interior, it has the flecks of orange in it because it matches the paint. It's it's period-correct fabric. And I see a rear window defrogger? Yes. Correct. Wow. And one rear speaker. And one rear speaker. I'm going to turn that just a bit so that you can see it like so. Let me do that one more time. There we go. I mean, the dash, the instrumentation is just fabulous, isn't it? Your power brakes, your brake right here, oil, 
fire dome. Look at all the little crowns in there. Now it says 1,495 miles. Is that since the restoration? Yeah, that's correct. That's since we put the car back together. That looks great. The day night mirror. And it just looks fabulous. Well, I'm gonna have you guys stand next to each other. I think uh, <laughs> the only th I think the only thing we have left is I think we gotta take this one for a ride. Awesome! Let's go. Let's go. Well, Donna and I are in the 58, correct? Correct. 58 Desoto Fire Dome. Fire Dome Sportsman. Fire Dome Sportsman. There's a lot there. How's it feel driving it? Oh, it's great. <laughs> it, it rides so great. I love it. Let's just see what this looks like driving it. It's got a good sound to it too. It does, thank you. Yeah. So this, this car may be one of the most attention-getting cars at the car show. It, it draws a bit of attention. Yeah, Absolutely. It, it has the fins, it has the, uh, you know, the presence. Yeah. So when you, now, first of all, can we have a little confession time? You weren't able to drive this car for a while. What happened? For two years, I wasn't allowed to drive it. <laughs> Should um, we talk about this, or do you not want to? Yeah. I, what happened? So, I was working out of town 45 minutes for, for a couple years, and, well, I got a few too many speeding tickets, and so, <laughs> Hagerty said, Dear Miss Linz, you need to sign this piece of paper acknowledging uh, that if you drive this car, we are not insuring you because you have too many points on your license. So now I'm, I'm questioning, why did your dad not drive me around? Why are you driving me around oh, with all because... the tickets? <laughs> how, how do we screw no. this problem up? No, no, no. Um, Am I safe? You're safe, I All promise. right, good, yeah. We um, seem to be safe. I'll just let people look. So my job... We're very safe. We're just, I'm just having fun. You guys know me on the channel. Go ahead. Uh, my, my job moved me back to town, and so I have been speeding ticket free for two years. And, Congratulations. Uh, Hagerty has allowed me to drive the car again. You, you've you earned their trust, and, yes. now, and now you're my trust. we got a nice little straightaway here, as you can see. A little bit of acceleration, there we go. Beautiful. Does that bring you back to your roots now, your speeding roots? Are you, oh. are you good now? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to get me in trouble, did, aren't did you? Did you get that out of your system? <laughs> are you, we're all set? No, you're a great driver. You're doing absolutely fantastic. Hagerty. You made a good choice giving her the chance to drive this thing again. So you've got my complete endorsement. That and uh, that and uh, about $2 will get you a cup of coffee. So all of that said, well, Donna, first of all, your dad and you, it's a great combination. He's so proud to have you as a daughter. It's so much fun Aww. to meet you. He was yeah. telling me when you were in the car out, you know, it's so much fun. He's, she, she's been with me since she's six. So yeah. he really loves it. It's great to share these moments with dad and daughter driving the DeSoto. So what a wonderful time. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Thank you. My pleasure.